Bon, on est reparti. Alors, ma maison. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Is. Au début. Le couvreur.
And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Quelques jours plus tard. Le baraque, hein. Uncle. I thought you was... Where the hell? You? Encore. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Des moutons. Oh, lui, il met déjà de l'engrais, lui, dans le terrain. C'est bien, ça. Yeah, it's me again. In the black water. Let's go. Tous les matins, il viendrait ici chier. Pas faire de l'engrais. 
Ah ouais. Elle euh, chevauchait jusqu'à la Syrie. Attends, je vais prendre mes armes tout de suite. Alors que je pète un câble. Voilà. Coup d'épaule, lui. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, that's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority. We can find this guy. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. It's still rolling through. All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. 
It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, Joan. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Ah. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you. Oh, il casse du cou, il laisse moi mes armes, putain. On enculé quoi. Mais de quoi ces enculés? Ramon Cortez, we've come for you. Come calmly, and nobody. Oh! Don't fight it. Just drift away. We've come for you. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Je suis. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. There isn't any bounty. Oh, shut up. Viens là toi. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. 
Be quiet. Ah merde, le... C'est pas là le saloon, le... Docteur. Sheriff plutôt Il était pas droite avant Monsieur Sheriff Monsieur Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez. Sure did. Well done, how? Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> how you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Del Lobos. Oh, c'est singe. Du tout les gars ainsi. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Be a good girl now. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but 
Clearly, he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Hope that horse ain't lame. Yeah. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Easy. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I don't want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Qu'est-ce qu'ils cassent des couilles avec leurs armes de merde Laissez mes armes, allez vous faire foutre hein, avec vos jeux de merde. Casse des couilles, hein, c'est gogol. Un jeu d'assister quoi. La folange.
Un jeu d'assister. C'est vraiment le nom. Tu vas mourir. vraiment être gogol. Sérieux. Mais vraiment. Hein. Oh. Encore, je suis gentil. Je suis vraiment gentil. Je lui tire dans sa tête ou dans son ventre, il meurt nage, je lui tire dans sa jambe, il meurt. Euh, on t'expliquer. Ah bah s'il me laisserait jouer L'assisté de merde Voilà, c'est mieux. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut! Oh, de bouger, euh. We might just be. Son of a bitch. So, yes. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, ah. Mrs. Adler. Hey, lady. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman, and you're a dead man. 
that the Lobos will not forgive this. Uh, wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. Défoncer lui. Attends, je vais envoler devant. Ta gueule, il est qu'est-ce qu'il fait Tout dans un cirque. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. On a remboursé 150. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rends, his pack 
the huntsman cheers. When horns and hounds the forest rend his pack, the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink of our and let us merry be. Our can is full of pumping it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John, get out here. Uncle's gone. He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Let's go. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. Here. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? You gonna... Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Je vais prendre mes armes parce qu'ils m'ont mis des armes de merde, comme d'habitude. Ça va rien changer, hein. Ça, que ça casse les Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. Okay. To the trees. Allez vous faire enculer avec vos arcs de merde Je voudrais jouer avec ça, je l'aurais déjà pris depuis 10 ans. J'ai rien à foutre de faire du bruit. for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. The 
patrol to our left. Shh. Let him go. Faut le laisser passer. Easy, easy. Hold it. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Il fumier. Personne. Don't go until we're sure. Personne. Pas vu. Il y a quelqu'un. Euh. To the trees. Come on. Oh, ils ont culé, ils m'ont remettre là quoi. Control to our left. Shh. Let him go. Easy. Easy. That's it. 
Je même pas pourquoi la première balle a pas été dedans, mais c'est pas grave. On va dire que c'est moi. Hein. Au mieux. Ah, marcher comme ça, je vois pas en quoi on est discret. Il nous voit nain. Les personnes qui bougent comme ça, ça se voit. Ça s'entend euh, minimum. Tu n'avais pas encore vu avant Totalement con, ils font exprès. En fait, ils m'ont renvoyé au début de la mission pour un. Je vous une baie cinématique. Puis la merde, hop, le il lance un couteau, on est content. Oh, il faut arrêter les deux. Il faut vraiment clairement arrêter. Hein. Où le viseur Je le vois même pas. Et je t'assiste, toi, c'est un problème. En vrai tu te prends une balle comme ça, tu t'en relèves plus. Hein. En, en, en kebab. Il 
Moi qui savent naviguer. Hein. Dégage avec ton arc de merde, Il me rendra service. Bien sûr. En voilà de l'engrais. Oh, 
I... He always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so I reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Allez, on va voir euh, le Chou. Ça aurait été bien aussi en, en multijoueur qu'on puisse euh, avoir notre maison, un petit bout de terrain. Euh, peut aménager comme tu veux. How you getting on, Sam? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Allô, okay. on va te Sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. In the... So... You don't care if we don't catch fish. Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And Ooh, it's it'll be pretty though. fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. Oh, I know. Okay. What are you gonna... Be when you're older. I want to travel, see the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer. That's a. Are you laughing at me? No, never. Just whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. We had it. However, we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay.
Elle est où la femme This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Allez. Allez, pick. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. Après un poisson rouge. I got him. <laughs> What do you think? How do you feel? <laughs> I don't. What's that? I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur. I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Now where's he got to? Jack! Rufus! Jeffy. Come on, Rufus! Rufus, no! It's a snake! I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Is it all out? C'est l'un, un coup c'est l'autre. Jamie c'est quoi Keep going. Dad, Rufus, no. Don't swallow it. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. 
Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. T'inquiète pas. On a du bétail quand même. So you happy? I think so. And I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm sorry, I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if... John wanted to earn some money? My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. <laughs> Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah! I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Say your goodbyes, John. Get your horse and let's go. 
<laughs> you ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail, or it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I I think I know I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, John. Je vais prendre mes armes tout de suite. De toute façon, on va être obligé de les reprendre. Ils sont tellement. Being married, it made me real happy. C'est pas la maison, celle-là, si. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. Whoa. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. C'est les deux. Et là, tu fais que de chier. Du coup, je vois ici. It's that way, I'd say. À quelle heure ou? Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on, I'm coming. 
Oh, no. He's gone. Darwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. Oh, sa gueule. Prendra pour tout le monde. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. <laughs> you all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... <laughs> We always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those mm -hmm. really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman, and I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses and... Who's this up here? Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? No. Get off the road. Look, I got. Ils m'ont encore tiré mes armes. Ils ont quoi avec ça, eux? Ces enculés. We respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road. We were thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Get her! Idiot! Let's go! There, there. Easy. Putain, celui-là que je vise, il faut qu'elle tire dessus, quoi. <rire> C'est une blague. Okay, J'aurais visé l'autre, c'était pareil. Well, 
I, I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. When you hear something real, <laughs> you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you can lose. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. Let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Ça marche. Okay, boy. Bon, c'est sur la route, on va s'arrêter là, à l'arbre. Ok, du coup on va s'arrêter là.